Hi everyone. So in this video, I'll show you a simple way to teach time to toddlers. So hi everyone. Welcome to our channel, Mom and Geetu. Yes. So what are we going to learn today? What did Mama teach you? My mom teach me how to learn time. Hmm. How to tell time. Yeah. So in this video, we will see how to teach kids time an easy way. Now seeing the clock, how can they tell what is the time? So her age is four years and uh, at this age, kids do not know that uh, multiples of five and also if you if the needle is at five, they do not know it is 10 minutes. If it is at, sorry, uh, if it's at five, they do not know it is like uh, 25 minutes. If it is at two, it is 10 minutes. They do not know that right so i made a small clock along with her a small one uh, which is like easier for her to learn so my idea is like one week she'll practice daily telling different times and then i think she'll get used to it so she's doing pretty good it's been a day which we started this right so let's show the clock to them yeah so, so this is the clock which we made yeah. right this is geetan vita's clock right yeah and these are princesses. Princesses of your choice, right? Yeah. Okay. When we so put now, the needle wait, 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 wait. Like this. Now tell them uh, what does the small needle represent? Small needle is for? Hours. Correct. And big needle is for? Minutes. Minutes. In one hour, how many minutes do you have? We got? 60 minutes. 60 minutes. Okay. So this is the one I just made it. I just made it with uh, two paper plates. So I will give the detailed instructions and some pins. So very easy, nothing much. So here I'm taking two paper plates. You can take two paper plates or any uh, circular cardboard or you can just cut them into circular shape and take one of them and draw a small circle. So here I have a circular, I'm using that. You can use any circular shape, cap or a plate or anything and just draw a small circle. Make sure there is enough space all around the circle. So now inside this circle, we would have our uh, clock and we'll have to cut this off. Remove the circular portion and then we'll put the other paper plate below it. So now this is our this thing. This is how it will look. Now we'll need one more small circular object and we need to cut one more hole just above the circle. So leave some space in between and draw one more small circle and we need to cut it off. So you make sure that you are leaving some space in between like this. Next for the clock I am drawing the partitions so that I can write the numbers 1 to 12. I am not measuring exactly, it is a rough partition. So I divide it into 12 portions and now I am going to mark all the numbers from 1 to 12 on this. Just write all the numbers that are there in the clock. This is how it looks. Next we will need to cut the needles that is the hour and the minute needle. So just cut thin strips of paper. From the circular part which we have cut from the middle, I am using the same part and I am just marking approximately two needles. Then I will measure it and cut it. So one of this is the hours needle and the other would be our minutes needle. So now just measure the size and then trim them off to the required size for your clock. Make sure there is visible difference for the kit to identify which one is a longer handle. 
so that they know one is a minute handle and one is an hour handle. So now one of my needle is smaller and one is a big one. This is how it will be. Now uh, in order to fix the sliders, now each plate will slide off. So I am using paper clips. I have just cut it into half, one paper clip into a U shape. Then I am just bending the edges. So just bend them like this, like a hook into L shape. Now we will need to fix this at two edges, one on the top and one on the bottom. Any two sides we can fix that. So just make two holes to the paper plate and just fit it, one on the top and one on the bottom. This is a paper clip so it's very easy, you can just push it through. If you do not have a paper clip, you can use any small wire or a rubber band, something which will hold these together. So like this. Make sure there is enough space for the plate to slide and move. So one on the top and one on the bottom. Like this. And these uh, other edges, whichever are there, we can bend them later. Now I am just erasing off the pencil marks. So now I am just bending the edges. Later we can cover them off. So this is how it will slide. This is the way it should freely be able to slide. So check it out and adjust your pins accordingly. So now just keep sliding the plate and within the circles write the minutes against each number. 7.35 at 8 it is 40 so for all the numbers just go ahead and write the minutes so that the kid will be able to read it when it comes there so now let us just fix the needles so for fixing the needles you will need a small pin here I'm using some pin which I have at home uh, it's a badge kind of a one If you do not have such a pin, you can use something like a push pin also. Or if you have some old badges, you can use them. So I'm just creating a small hole and then I'll be putting this badge. So this is how it will look and these will keep sliding. So now put it at the center of the clock. I am just fixing it here. So as I said this is a badge, there is one small knob. So I am just fixing that. So now you can move the needles. You can keep the needles at different positions and you can teach your child. So at 1 it is 5 minutes, so it is 9 hours 5 minutes. Just now uh, whatever is left is decorating your uh, clock so that it looks more appealing for the kid. For kids at this age they need colourful things so that they will be interested to learn. So just go ahead and let your kid decorate it or you can decorate that so that it seems a little interesting for them. So here I have just given a red color border to it. I painted the needles and I gave it to my daughter to choose whatever she wants to decorate it with. So she chose some princess stickers and then uh, her name also we have stuck on that. And on the badge we have given a star smiley and drew some stars. And the clock is ready.
so this itself makes it very exciting for them to learn and easy a week or so if they practice telling the time like this slowly they will get a hang of how to read the original clock without these minutes so this is the hours and this is the minutes the short handle is for hours we need to tell them so here it is like uh, we can move these needles this is a pin so i will be changing it like let's say i'll be keep the, keeping this at 2 and the small needle at 9 so then it shows 9 hours so what i have been telling wait 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 Kitu, one minute okay so what i have been telling her the small needle is hours i taught her so she will say 9 and how many minutes if it is at 2 she doesn't know right so here she will turn this so this is 10 minutes so she'll say 9 10 and suppose this is at 3 then we are going to turn this and this will give us 15 so 9 15 so that will be the time so okay. 15 minutes yeah 9 hours and 15, 15 minutes. minutes so how many hours is this what is the time tell me now 11 it is 11 hours right yeah. short one is at 11 11 hours and how many minutes 15 minutes 15 minutes so time is 11 15 yeah hope you like hope you like this video see you again in the next video bye bye thank you for watching let us know if this helped you